Praise God. God bless you today and forever. You're welcome in Jesus' name. It's good to see every one of you that is on here today. Today, briefly, I'll be talking on what I titled um, Divine Direction. You need divine direction. You need to pray for divine direction. What uh, we call divine direction is God's intervention. God's will for your life. Uh, functioning in the place where God wants you to function. Doing uh, the will of God in your life at a particular point in time. Or what are you doing at the moment? What do you intend to do? Where are you going? Is it sanctioned by God? Is it approved by God? That is divine direction. God giving you light concerning anything you tend to do. God approving your journey. God approving your thought. God approving your plans. It is divine direction. In every area of life, we need divine direction. In your marriage, divine direction. In your business, you need divine direction. Academically, financially, mentally, socially, divine direction is needed. God's leading is divine direction. God's leading. The leading of the Spirit of God is what we're talking about. In every area of life, you need divine direction. If not, the person will live in confusion. Many are frustrated today because no direction, no headway. When there is no divine direction, in the absence of divine direction, there is going to be called what we call aimlessness. Purposeless living. Frustration. Decadence. Separation from destiny helpers. Loss of opportunities. Missing up to be messing up with the wrong companies. Many destinies lack divine direction. When you see people who lack divine direction, one of the mark is that there is no purpose for living. Nothing is driving them. No force. No goal. No vision. No purpose. So it is dangerous to live a life that is not, you know, hinged on divine direction. So your life is supposed to be a life that is flowing towards your vision in life, towards your goals. So not having divine direction is suicidal. Your pursuit is a product of divine direction. Because you can't just chase for nothing. What you are going after now, what you are doing right now, what you are determined to attain, to achieve, to fulfill it. It's as a result of God giving you divine direction and guidance in that area. David was not, you know, moved. Despite the trouble that came his way. Joseph was not moved. Despite the battles that comforted him. Because they have divine direction. They know where they are going. They know what is said before them. So nothing like a man having divine direction. We have some prayers to pray, beloved. As we pray this prayer, God will give you divine direction concerning things that you want to know, things that have been, you know, so confusing. You can't put one or two together. You have been delaying, you have been saying tomorrow, tomorrow. You have been stuck in one place. You've been stagnated. 
and gradually frustration is setting in because you don't know what to do. Initially, you thought you know what you were doing, but now it's obvious to you that you need help. And crying for the help of man is useless this time around. So those who have been crying and calling to come and what do you think you can do? People who are trying to navigate your way, you know, what have they done? Instead, your confusion doubled. So this is the time to cry to God and say, God, I need divine direction. You know, concerning this project, concerning this thing I want to do, concerning this, concerning this area, I need, your, I need, I need divine direction. What is your will? What is your purpose for my life? This year, you need divine direction. This week, this month, in this new business, in the new career, you need divine direction. Concerning that project, you need divine direction. That God should give you insight. That God should give you, you know, clear view, clear picture of what tomorrow holds. Even with that relationship, you need divine direction. So that where the ship is heading to, if it's not where God wants it to go, then you jump out. So you won't end like Jonah. So you won't be swallowed tomorrow by great problems. You need divine direction. I need divine Every one of us, every man need divine direction at every point in life. Every year, every month, you need divine direction. Sunny your work, your labor, your business, your career, your children, your marriage, your finance, health wise, divine direction. The leading of the spirit. What God is pushing you to do. What God is urging you to do. What the Holy Spirit is planted in your spirit. Divine direction. If you don't call for it, you're not going to get it. You call for it, you get it. You ask for it, you get it. In John chapter 14, verse 1, Jesus looked at them and said, Let not your heart be troubled. Don't begin to behave and act like people who don't have divine direction. That is why I'm here. I'm giving you divine direction. Where you are heading to is okay. I will lead you. All right. I will show you the way. I'm here to give you divine direction. But most importantly, the Holy Spirit is going to come. In whatever you want to do, you call him, he will give you divine direction. He will open your understanding, enlighten you in that area. Make it easy for you, simplify things for you. So that was what he was telling them. Concerning your ministry, concerning your calling, concerning your business, career, these children, divine direction. We are going to pray. I have seven prayers to pray for divine direction. Say, my father, my father, I have no power of my own. This week, this month, this year, I need divine direction. In the name of Jesus, I need divine direction. I need divine direction. I need divine direction. Who oh God arise? This week, this month, I need divine direction. In the name of Jesus, my father, my father, I need divine direction. I need divine direction. In the name of Jesus, oh God arise. Give me divine direction. Give my husband divine direction. Concerning his plans, concerning his proposals, concerning this project. In the name of Jesus, oh God, give me divine direction. Give me divine direction. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are blessed if indeed you pray that prayer. God is going to give you divine direction. Number two. Say this year, oh God, show me what to do, where to go. In the name of Jesus, oh God, this year, this month, this week, show me what to do and where to go. In the name of Jesus, where to go from here. Show me what to do, how to do it, and where and where to go from here. In the name of Jesus, this year, oh God, show me what to do, how to do it, and where to go from here. What to do, how to do it, and, wo- and where to go from here. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Show me what to do. Show me what to do. And we are to go from here. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We pray number three.
my father my father if i'm out of your will for my life redirect my my footsteps in the name of jesus my father my father if i'm out of your will for my life redirect my steps in the name of jesus if i'm out of divine will for my life redirect my steps 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 in jesus name we pray amen number four my father my father any power ordained to push me to make unpardonable mistakes destroy them in the name of jesus any power assigned ordained to push me to make unpardonable mistakes who oh god arise destroy that power destroy that power i shall not make unpardonable mistake i refuse to make unpardonable mistake this week this month this year concerning my decision i refused to take wrong decision i refuse to make mistakes in jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen number five See, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, speak to me and give me divine direction concerning my plans this year. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, speak to me. Give me divine direction. Give me divine direction. Give me understanding concerning this proposal, concerning my marriage, concerning my academics. Speak to me, Holy Spirit. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We pray number six. One more to go. We pray number six. Say, my father, my father, plant in my spirit divine ideas. Profitable ideas, lucrative ideas, profound ideas, expansion ideas, ideas that will turn things around for me. Plant it in my spirit today. In the name of Jesus, who God has plant divine ideas into my spirit. Lucrative ideas, profitable ideas. In the name of Jesus, ideas that will bring expansion, that will bring increase, plant into my spirit, concerning my job, concerning my career. Oh God, arise, concerning my plans, plant ideas into my spirit. Holy Spirit, give me your divine idea. Plant it into my spirit, plant it into my spirit, plant it into my spirit, plant it into my spirit. Begin to mention that thing you want to do. Say, Holy Spirit, give me idea concerning this, concerning that. Give me idea, give me ideas, give me ideas, give me ideas, give me ideas, give me ideas. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Number seven. See, Holy Spirit. Dissolve my fear, my doubt and unbelief and move me to my next level by yourself. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, dissolve my fear, my doubt and unbelief and move me, take charge, move me, take charge, take charge, move me to my next level of life in the name of Jesus. Move me, oh God. I refuse to dwell in this cadet's barrier. I refuse to dwell in this place of stagnancy. Move me forward by fire. Move me from the floor to the top. Holy Spirit, I need your help. Holy Spirit, I need your help. Come and give me divine direction. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, I need your help. Dissolve my fear, dissolve my doubt, dissolve my unbelief, and move me by yourself to where you want me to be. Give me divine direction. Holy Spirit, give me divine direction. Give my children divine direction. Give my that my son, that my daughter, divine direction. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. I pray for you today. The Lord will give you divine direction wherever you find yourself in the name of Jesus. It is well with you and your household. Never again will there be repeated problems, will there be, you know, repeated mistakes in your life. That thing you want to do concerning all your plans and purposes this year, concerning your wish, concerning your desire, the Holy Spirit will breathe upon them afresh and it will give you a better understanding, better insight. It will direct you, it will order your footsteps. You hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way. You will not miss it. 
this is your year of excellence your year of fulfillment in jesus name we pray amen